Okay, so here's a video where we're going to go through the five mid-central vowels. So that's the five vowels that are central, and they're sort of between the open mid and the close mid uh, regions of the vowel chart in the IPA. Because uh, there's some funny stuff, there's some odd stuff happening here. Uh, I found them quite difficult to learn when I was first uh, coming up on this. So first we can deal with a schwa. That's the one right there in the middle. That's the turned E symbol, turned lowercase e. Uh, and it's the, the uh vowel that's so common in unstressed syllables in English. Uh, this is the only vowel symbol uh, that is fully mid as opposed to close mid up above or open mid down below. Uh, and it's one that you're probably familiar with if you learned introductory linguistics, introductory phonetics uh, round English. And, and as for the remainder, remaining four, there's actually a kind of clever system here based on the unrounded front characters, the lowercase e and the lowercase epsilon. So let's look here. So they're, they're paired, these, these ones on the top are close mid, these ones on the bottom are open mid. Uh, these two are unrounded and these two are rounded. Okay, so there's our framework. Now the lowercase e is a close mid front unrounded vowel. Its central counterpart is just reversed. See, these are mirror, uh, a mirror of each other. E is the reversed lowercase e, and it just represents a close mid central unrounded vowel. Epsilon, open mid front unrounded vowel, reversed epsilon, open mid central unrounded vowel. Okay, and then the rounded version is, is obtained by closing off the gaps at the left side of these characters. So the, the open uh, gap here for the E gets closed off, and we have what typographically is just a barred O, but you can think of it as a closed off reversed lowercase E, uh, and that gets you the rounded central close mid vowel, or close mid central rounded vowel, and when you close off the front of the epsilon there, you get uh, an open mid central rounded vowel as opposed to an open mid central unrounded vowel. So you can think of that graphical closure as making the character more O-like, which is kind of iconic for rounding. Uh, so if you've got those front vowels memorized well, then the rest of that should follow, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, there you go with that. So that's the mid-central vowels. The schwa kind of is out on its own, and then those other four have that fairly tidy pattern relating to the front vowels. That's all for this set.